Marici was born in 1474 in a small town near Lombardy, Italy. She and her older sister, Gianna Maria, were left orphans when she was around the age of 10 and went to live with their uncle in the town of Salo. When her sister suddenly died without receiving the last rites of the church, Angela was devastated and prayed incessantly that her sister's soul rest in peace. After asking God the whereabouts of her sister's soul, she was given a vision of her sister in heaven in the company of the saints. Angela's faith grew. Soon she joined the Third Order of St. Francis. Angela's physical beauty began to catch the attention of others, but considering she had taken a pledge of virginity, she dyed her hair in soot to avoid the unwanted attention. She later had another vision that revealed to her that she was to found an association of virgins who were to devote their lives to the religious training of young girls. This association was a success, and she was invited to start another school in the neighboring city of Brescia. According to legend, in 1524, while traveling to the Holy Land, Marici became suddenly blind when she was on the island of Crete. Despite this, she continued her journey to the Holy Land and was miraculously cured of her blindness on her return, while praying before a crucifix at the exact same place where she was struck with blindness a few weeks before. In 1525, she journeyed to Rome in order to gain the indulgences of the Jubilee year then being celebrated. Pope Clement VII, who had heard of her virtue and success with her school, invited her to remain in Rome. Marici, disliking notoriety, returned to Brescia. On November 25, 1535, Marici gathered with 12 young women who had joined in her work in a small house in Brescia near the Church of St. Aphra. There, Together, they committed themselves in the founding of the Company of St. Ursula. The Ursulines, as they're now known, one goal was to elevate family life through the Christian education of future wives and mothers, and they became the first teaching order of women religious. They wore no special habit and took no formal religious vows. Marici wrote a rule of life for the group, which specified the practice of celibacy, poverty, and obedience in their own homes. On March 18, 1537, Angela was elected mother and mistress of the group. The rule she had written was approved in 1544 by Pope Paul III. Under her leadership, the Ursulines would open numerous schools and orphanages. When Marici died in Brescia in 1540, there were 24 communities of the Company of St. Ursula serving the church through the region. Marici was beatified in Rome on April 30th, 1768 by Pope Clement XIII. She was later canonized on May 4, 1807 by Pope Pius VII. Angela is often attributed with a cloak and ladder. She is the patron saint of sickness, disabled and physically challenged people, and those grieving the loss of parents. Her feast day is January 27th.